<laughs> hey guys, welcome back and uh, we've got a really exciting project for you. Uh, we're back at Jeff's place and we're going to be working on a very interesting project on his 750 Commando here. In this box here we have an Alton electric starter. So we're going to fit that onto, well Jeff's going to fit that onto this bike. and uh, let's hope it, uh, hope it works. Yes. <laughs> so um, what's the main reason then why you're going for an electric start well, then, Well, to fix this gear shifter if you want to yes, yes. show it. Okay, yeah. so well, here's my prime motivation for fitting the electric start. I mean, the truth is this bike is an easy starter and runs well, but I have fitted these uh, rear set foot pegs that I really like the problem is the gear shift lever has to go do this loop around the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter has to hang out so it'll clear the muffler here. Yeah. And I have an issue with my leg rubbing on this and trying to get my toe yes. under that. Yeah. And that's what causes the problem. And I've tried to adjust it um, in all kinds of directions and never really been able to get it to where I'm completely comfortable with the way the thing shifts. But you're actually planning on taking the kickstart? Well, the ultimate <laughs> goal is to just get rid of that thing. Okay. Like, that'll solve the problem. I might have to change. I'm, you know, obviously then I'm left with this weird um, yes. lever here yeah. and probably ultimately replace it with just a, a, oh, yeah. a, a short straight one, which will probably make the, the whole shift uh, mechanism work a little better. A little bit more of a direct yeah, connection. Yeah, yeah. But you were wearing a hole in your pants, were you, or something? I with wore this, a or hole in my here, pants, right there. from the edge of this thing, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, well, you can't see, but when you're sitting on the bike, this is right on the inside of your leg, and it just makes it hard to get your toe under here to shift. And I've been caught out a few times, sort of not being in, you know, trying to take off and not being in gear because you know, you've got to yes. pull it all the way up to get it into first gear. So that's the main motivation for doing it. Great. Plus it's fun. Yeah. Well, let's, shall we open the box? Let's open the box. I know we're past Christmas, but yeah. uh, you know, hey, a New Year's yeah. present. Oh, yeah. A bit of weight. Pretty that decent amount of weight. Nice, sturdy box. Yeah. All the way from... From France. La France. Okay, well, happy birthday to me, or happy <laughs> Christmas. Thank you. I think those are the uh, instructions. We don't need those, and you can throw those away, mate. <laughs> okay, well, all kinds of nice packing material. Whoa, look at that. Oh, wow. Some pretty oh, well, looking mechanical pieces. Let me have a look in there. Cool. Yeah, shiny bits of metal. Very nice. I'm excited, I got a tear. Yeah. Box of parts, number one. Number three, and I noticed the folks at Elton gave you some advice that yes, if you drop this, it might break. <laughs> yes, that's uh, not good. This does look very wow. nice, doesn't it? Yeah, first impressions are really good, aren't they? I like that they've gone with this casting as well, because that's very, very true. To the yeah. commando, isn't it? So this is polished it's here, polished on the edge, which is the same as what we all have on our commandos. Yeah, you can compare it to and the then, original, yeah. And yeah. then you've got a polished unit. So you went for the polished unit here. So yeah. that's cool, Jeff. That's cool. because the cool. they're faster. Yeah. You know, they're the, fast. shi the, shiny, the shiny ones are always the fastest. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the seal. Oh yeah. I wondered that looked like it was stuck there, but it's not. No, of course. It's, I think yes. That's because it's it's pre-unit, of course. The yeah. commando's still yeah, yeah, pre-unit, well, so you got to adjust your um, gearbox, of course. Yeah. You know, with those adjusters. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I suppose we could compare it to the original on the bike. Yeah. I'll try not to drop it. The theory is that this one comes out, and this is going to fit into the same space, just like that. Great. Starter motor is going to tuck into the. 
yeah. in behind the, the motor there. So, so very well. similar to Mark III, isn't it? Uh, it yeah, is very a, similar. A very you similar. know, low yeah. profile, yeah. Yeah. less profile actually, is smaller than I expected. Because I've seen some of them where they go up quite yes. high. Yeah, a different design, obviously. Yeah, a bigger, a bigger motor, maybe or something. Yeah, and then yeah. <coughs> I guess I'll have to figure out what to do with this. This is the oh yeah, the breather. The pipe. early, the early motors have the breather coming oh, off the, yes. the camshaft yeah. there, but it'll probably go around I think in front it'll of just this. run around in front. Yeah, don't want to obscure this. <laughs> no. That looks good, and that was kind of the appeal of this one was that it had the physically maybe a less lower obtrusive profile, uh, yeah. motor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. well, let's rummage through the, the boxes here and see what we got. Okay, so. Some kind of mysterious spacer. A nut. That's probably all related to uh, mounting the, uh, the alternator. These are likely the screws that hold the, actually hold the, maybe hold the cover on. And I know what that is, that's the, um, that's for jamming the, the chain. Oh yeah. To tighten up the, yeah. Oh, look at that, that's nice, a new, oh. a new yeah, yeah. Um, seal. Right. Some, some oh, Allen wrenches, yeah. just in case we don't have any Allen wrenches. <laughs> Little drive chain. Uh, that'll be the one that goes through the middle. That holds the whole thing together. And a nice, uh, nice set of uh, power cables. Oh yeah, they're pretty heavy duty, those. They are. Yeah, that's good. Right yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, I think that's part of the secret of these things is you've got to have, you got to get the power to the starter motor. And they'll be shims for aligning the um, uh, the alternator, the rotor. Yeah. Great. So that all looks very nice. Okay, box number two. <laughs> all right, more little, nice little. Oh, and this is the oh, this is the alternator. Okay, nice. This is the alternator, and that's yeah. Oh yeah, field. you were yeah, saying yeah, it's going to be thinner. Thin that is. Oh yeah. And that's because I guess the. Starter mechanism has taken up, yeah, some of the space on the crankshaft. Nice. So now you've got this little thin alternator, and I don't know how it works, but I, I assume it puts out as much power as the yeah. As there'll be a new rotor in here, which yeah. probably has some powerful magnets on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's nice. And that's the spray clutch. Oh, there, so I it. see. So it's got the one-way clutch. Got you. And so that's the thing that takes up the space. So you have to put a thin, a thinner um, uh, alternator in there. And I don't know if we had something magnetic. Is this magnetic or stainless steel? Probably. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's strong. <laughs> yeah. These will be the probably the timing marks. Yeah. Wish I could weld. Right? That's a nice weld. <laughs> <laughs> well, that all looks good. I'm assuming the next box contains the electricery, and there shouldn't be much electricery. Nice little wire. And this is the bit that I don't know how it's going to work out. So here's a nice. Nice sturdy uh, starter solenoid. Yeah, that is a nice one. Only a few years had the uh, the center mounted oil tank. Okay. And so the battery is orientated differently. I don't know. Maybe this will work. All right. We'll have to see. And I guess I think the way it goes is this fits on top of the battery, and then this must bolt onto that somehow. Oh. Okay. But I don't know uh, the 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 instructions that that I saw. Showed it being fitted to a later bike that has the mm -hmm. side-mounted oil tank, mm -hmm. and so I don't know whether we're going to run into a different situation with the center-mounted oil tank or not. A nice, All right. nice little bracket, anyway. Very nice. Um, but I, I can't imagine it'll be too difficult to find a place to put that. It's not very big. No, no. Uh, well, there we go. We've got a packing list. If we were diligent, we could um, verify that we got all the parts. We've got a guarantee. That's 
looks nice. Very nice. So we've got, and we've got, oh, wow. Wow, brochure. Wow. No, this is the, I think this is the, ma this is the instrument. Wow, look oh, at that. Oh, that's nice. In colour, no less. Oh, this is quality. Yeah. I like that. What could possibly go wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you speak funny English, I know that, and I know I do, so we'll see. What could so possibly go wrong with it? these instruments? So we have got pictures. French like translated to English, read by an Australian and a Brit. So we don't even have what to could go wrong? We don't even have to be able to read to do this, Mike. Look, they've got pictures. Just it's like Chevy's. Just, yeah, just, we just have to follow the pictures. We've got an addendum. Oh, it's a shinning. It's okay, we've got to right. make sure we've got clearance between the starter chain yeah. and the stator coils. Okay. And we may have to, f oh, you have to fit a washer to make sure there's clearance. Okay, well, we need to remember to do that. You'll there really isn't too much to worry about electrically because they've given us the heavy cables. We want to go through this? Sure. We have a pre-assembled case and sprocket set. Check, check. Relay bracket. That's this guy. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Relay bracket. The, uh, so these are just like for cushioning. Then are they? Yes. They sit around. Uh, yeah. Nothing the way that the problems. way that works, as I understand it, is that that's going to fit on top of the battery, just ah, like that. Okay. And probably the battery strap will run over the top here that somewhere right. and hold it down, and that will sit on top of it, okay. and. It yeah. might be just fine, yeah. because I think. Well, we'll come to that when we get into the. Um, yeah. When we get into the bike, um, the battery on that bike sits, you know, this way. Yes. Under the seat, the strap comes around there. Yeah, and I, so I don't know. Possibly We're, just reorientating it. Who knows? You know. Yeah. Anyway, if it works, degrees. it'd be great because yeah. it looks like it's a nice arrangement. That's, That's it. it. That's it.